Hi guys, it's Laura and welcome back to episode 10 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Poverty to Plenty. We are back here with uh, Cody and uh, Malcolm. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I gave these guys makeovers. Uh, so they have all new outfits and for every category, a few everyday outfits. And uh, I even gave Princess a makeover, so he got a collar on, which is cute. Such a cute little kitty. Um, and I, I think that's why these guys have... Uh, um, their needs are all full. I guess it must have been because I uh, I opened them in cast and edited edited them. Edited it, it, it. Okay, whatever. Edited it. I can't even say that right now. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but I did edit them in cast and now they feel amazing. So um, it's Wednesday night. It's only uh, 6, 6.43 p.m. So I think um, Malcolm and uh, Cody should maybe go and do their laundry. So maybe go search your pockets over here, Malcolm. And uh, Cody can go and search the pockets Oh, he already searched those. So search the pockets of the clothing in the hamper. And then they can both go to the laundromat and do the laundry together. Because uh, Malcolm and Cody have resolved their issues and Malcolm now knows that, well, he needs to, uh, to pick it up and be a little bit better at taking care of uh, the apartment and their joint responsibilities. And I feel like these guys may need to have a chat while at the laundromat about how to make money because they really don't have any money and uh, that's an issue. So we need to figure that out. I think they may have to get jobs even though finding money in their own pockets is also just a thing. Oh, and Nancy Landgraf just came by, by wanting to hang out, but we're not going to do that right now. So Cody should uh, put this laundry in the in inventory and also pick up this clothing. I guess uh, maybe I missed it the last time I wanted to do um, laundry on a community lot or there has been an update that I sort of missed. I didn't realize that we got an update, but now I can actually pick up the clothing piles from the, um, from the hamper. And I was quite sure I couldn't do that last time. so. Let me know in the comments, I'm super confused that we get an update recently uh, after laundry day stuff pack came out that I just didn't know about or was I just a turtle derp last time and uh, didn't see this option to pick up the clothing from the hamper. I don't know. So uh, let's have Malcolm put these in his inventory and Cody. No, don't take to the hamper. So. What? Oh. So now I still can't get all of the clothing from the hamper. That's a little annoying. That's the same issue we had last time. Okay. So maybe nothing is fixed and uh, that's just it then. What happens if I... We really don't have money for this though. I can't just go around and uh, buying all sorts of stuff all the time for these guys. That's that's not really gonna work out for me. Like we can't afford to keep buying um, laundry items and deleting them again. What happens if I do this? Oh, okay. So all the laundry just got deleted. Uh, let's not do that. I don't know what to do though. I really don't. I can do what I did last time and just... Um, where even is that actually? Activities? Yeah, okay. So I guess they're gonna have a a washing tub and uh, we're just gonna have Cody wash this laundry in the washing tub and then when he's halfway there he's gonna stop doing it and 
pick up the laundry, I guess. Put it in his inventory. Malcolm can just uh, clean up a plate while he, Cody does this. It's just, ah, uh, it's just annoying. Put in inventory. Search the pockets again. They just made like 30, 40 simoleons uh, searching pockets of their own clothes, so that's great. Maybe we can just make money off of that. Just keep changing clothes, making piles, and then... Uh... What? He can't put it in his inventory? Let's just drag it in his inventory then. Alright, so let's have these guys travel together to the laundromat such that so that they can actually do laundry together and then they're gonna have a heart to heart about what to do about money i think they may need jobs you guys they have no money it's uh this is poverty to plenty like they need to at least cody needs to to have plenty at one point and He's not even close. Like they have forty simoleons in their in their household funds, and they don't even have all the furniture that they need. A lot of it was from a flea market, so you can't really say that they have plenty. I wouldn't say that. That's for sure. So, uh, so let's go and see if we can't have them have a heart to heart about that, and maybe they can figure out what they want to do. Because yeah, again, they need to do something. All right, so Cody has some clothes in his inventory, so maybe just uh, do laundry, add to washing machine, and Malcolm can do the same because they both have laundry in their inventory. So you go ahead and you do that, guys. Come on, Malcolm, you can do it. All right. And then, uh, do laundry, add to washing machine, and I hope you add it to the same one, otherwise, well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you did, and Malcolm as well. Uh, do laundry, add to washing machine. You have to put all the loads in, you, you don't, you can't just say put all of the laundry in the world in there. So, uh, wash laundry, and then maybe go and sit over here. And let's have Malcolm... Oh, he added it to a different machine, so... Wash laundry. Wash laundry. I guess it's also fairly uh, realistic that they will need a few washing machines to, in order to wash all of the clothes that they brought. And then go and sit with, uh, with Cody over here. Because we need these guys to talk about, have a serious chat about money. They really don't, they really, really don't have uh, any money. So uh, what can we do here? We can have a deep conversation. I think that's uh, kind of fitting. And then maybe discuss interests because they want to... Uh, Sorry, I lose it totally when I have to read this uh, these things. So maybe get to know, you know, know what what could we do to uh, to actually make some money, dude. And then he's gonna reveal crush on this on Cody. Is that a flirty interaction? I thought it was like, hey, dude, I have a crush on this girl. Let's see if it's a flirty interaction. I'm not happy if it is because these guys are not an item. They are just good friends so yeah no it didn't give them any uh um they didn't get get any romantic relationship from that so uh they feel good they talk to each other so maybe they should be looking at jobs now so let's see let's have uh malcolm find a job and maybe cody as well and Cody, uh, he loves the outdoors, and he's a loner, but he's also a quick learner, so... Let's see what kind of jobs. I don't really... I, I rarely play with the, the teenage careers, so I'm not really... I don't really know all of these. So Malcolm could be a babysitter, a barista, a fast food employee, 
a manual laborer or a retail employee. So I don't really know. I don't feel like a babysitter is right for Malcolm. Maybe let's have him uh, be a barista, even though that's early in the morning and he's a lazy sim. So maybe that's not a good idea for him. Maybe this uh, fast food career where he works in the afternoons is the best one for him. Ooh. But that's in the morning as well. He's not gonna want to do that. So let's have him uh, go into the fast food career. And Cody. I feel like he could be a manual laborer. He loves the outdoors. So maybe he can get to... Um, Mow lawns, that's one of the things it says here. Mowing lawns to operating big machines. Your muscle is where the money is. But he loves being outside, so maybe that sort of makes sense. And he's not lazy, so he can get up in on the weekends and uh, work in the morning. That's great. So now they both have jobs, which is super important because... Yeah, again, we, we don't really have any money. And then let's uh, let's have these guys do homework together. Even though Cody already has his responsibility all the way up. But Malcolm, he doesn't really have any uh, any character values. His empathy is quite low and maybe he should be an insensitive sim. Um, he can be mean, yell, yell at other sims and trolling on the computer um, to decrease his empathy. So maybe he'll do that because have a rude introduction. That would probably just decrease his manners, though. I don't know. Nope, nothing. Oh yeah, manners went down. But he 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 wants to be the public enemy, so he has to do some bad interactions sometimes. Okay. And uh, Cody really wants to get his logic skill up, and he wants to repair objects, so. When we go home, maybe he can actually repair some stuff because... Or upgrade them. That would be fine. Okay, so it seems like the uh, the washing cycles are done. So let's uh, move these to a dryer. And let's just have Cody do all of it. If he's not glitching out. Come on, dude, come on. We can do it. Come on over here. Ugh, I feel like whenever I'm at communal lots and I have a few sims there, it's just... They just glitch out and they just sit down forever. Okay, here we go. Because it's getting late and these guys have to go to school tomorrow. No, you just stand up, you don't even move? Are you serious? Come on. Oh, it's annoying. There we go. Add the laundry to the dryer. Don't just be standing there. What's going on? I can't even... Oh my god. This is messing with me. I think I'm gonna have to come back when uh, this is done. Okay, so I'm back and uh, Cody actually does something now. I removed an item that was a decor item, decor item that was on the wall here. I, uh, I heard that that sort of messes with the laundry system sometimes, but it seems to work over here on the other side with, the, with uh, these small shelvings. So I don't know what's going on, but let's see. Oh, and Cody actually also has some uh, some dragon fruits in his inventory that we can sell for 2,500 simoleons. So that's quite a lot. But now they both got jobs anyways. So he got some of the laundry out of the, uh, the dryer and its cleanliness is pristine and it's both dry and warm, which is great. Um... So maybe he can write in his journal a little bit, even though his emotional control is not gonna get into the positive range before we have to age him up. But I feel like it's still something that could make sense. And Malcolm, since their moods are so great, it doesn't matter that it's one o'clock. Oh, 
Some paint is missing back here. Uh, it doesn't matter that it's one o'clock, but these guys should probably be in bed right now. It's actually almost 2 a.m. <laughs> Which uh, is not that realistic that they're out on a Wednesday night at 2 a.m. Is this your homework, Cody? Please bring it home. That would be great. Now we just have to wait for the laundry uh, to dry and, well, then we can go home. So I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit even though it doesn't really go that fast. Where did the laundry go? That's strange. Okay, but let's have Malcolm go and uh, unload the laundry. Oh, he didn't want to do that because he's entering a phase. He's feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. Alright. That's fine, but we still need to get the laundry home. Like, I really need to get you guys to do something. And he needs to dry this laundry some more because it's still damp. That's annoying. So this is clean and dry. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Malcolm Cody just went and did it because you were way too slow. Okay, it's four o'clock in the morning. This is crazy uh, <laughs> that these guys are still out. I feel like this whole thing with doing laundry on a community lot, it's all good and well. Like, I like the idea of it, but it seems like it takes way too long. So maybe we will have to get them um, a washer and dryer at home, which they can't afford with all the dragon fruit money that they just got. So maybe let's just... Uh, no, you can't even stop the cycle. Okay, so we have to wait, actually. I wonder what would happen if we just went home. Would the laundry just stay here until we came back? Or would it disappear if we if we left the lot without it? I don't know. But these guys, they need some food. Maybe they can buy some from... Uh... Ew, lights of pancakes over here? Or maybe not. Order food. Let's get him a cannoli. What just happened? Just do it once, dude. Don't do it four times. That makes no sense. And what about Malcolm? He's actually feeling pretty good. Let's just have him go to the bathroom. And then he can uh, take this laundry because it's actually done now. So now Cody paid for some food, but he didn't get it. Or Okay, whatever. No, don't don't steal our laundry, dude. What what the deuce? Okay. This is our laundry. That's just weird. Victor Fang, don't be doing that. All right. It's now 6 a.m. So it took all night to do the laundry, which was also because the game glitched out a little bit, but also because it just it takes a long time. So. Uh, Let's get these guys home and then let's let's actually buy them a washer dryer combo or maybe uh, just a washer and then they can hang it up on the uh, on the balcony like they have a patio kind of thing outside so maybe we can just have a um, what's it even called a string for them to hang it up on I think that would be fine um, yeah that's fine for now but let's get them a washing machine maybe in the bathroom. And uh, then we also don't have to worry about the whole uh, system not really allowing you to take the laundry out of the hamper once it's in there, which is super annoying. So let's get rid of this uh, wash tub, even though it actually cost us 20 simoleons just to buy it and sell it again. But whatever. Let's move this over a little bit and then we can have... A washing machine yeah there we go matching the litter box I like it and then maybe we can have uh, 
somewhere to hang up the clothes what what category even is that in like i thought it would be in here with uh with the wash tub oh there it is very good so let's have that out here in the sun that's great and then these guys have to go to school in a minute so maybe let's just have them uh have some quick meals some sandwiches or something and also cody have a quick meal and then maybe watch uh, some television while you eat it so that you get your fun up a little bit because then they are ready to go to school they are not that tired which is great which i don't know was somehow also cheating because they <laughs> when i got back into the game they actually uh they actually just felt amazing even though <laughs> i hadn't done anything and Cody has an espresso in his uh, in his inventory, even though, and it's a poor quality, of course, because, well, let's let's face it, Eliza made it, um, but he didn't order that, so that's that's strange. So maybe, yeah, you're doing good now. So let's just put away the laundry. That's great. up into the air, put it away, and then go use the bathroom. Was he just saying that he felt sick? Because I'm not a fan of that. Let's just preemptively, let's get him some, uh, some, some medicine so that he won't get sick because we don't have time for that. He has to go to school and make money and everything. So let's take some medicine, make sure that he's gonna be fine let's have malcolm put away the laundry as well and then they're gonna go to school because it's a regular thursday and cody will take his medicine and then he'll be off as well he has successfully combated his cold that's great so let's see if time will actually just move, that would be great. Okay, great boost. A big unit test is coming up in history class. Malcolm's been doing okay, but a good score would really boost his overall grade. Should he do his usual amount of studying or study as much as he can? Let's have him do a lot. Malcolm focuses hard and reviews all the material, and it pays off big time. He scores a high. He scores higher on the tests than anyone else. Uh, sorry, than anyone else in class. The teacher congratulates him on a job well done. That's good. What is Malcolm's grades like actually? Oh, he's a C student, and he's oh, he's not doing too good. Um, I think it would be good for him to become a B student, but you know what? I'm not even gonna focus on that. Oh. And then his father calls and says like, hey, congrats on landing that sweet job. I think it's going to be great for you. <laughs> the sweet job being a table cleaner at a fast food restaurant. That's great. He has to go to work today, actually. So I hope Jeffrey is, Jeffrey is right that it's going to be good for Malcolm to have a job. I think it makes sense. Also, like his Malcolm's parents were like, hey, uh, kid, you know, now you're leaving and we will help you financially, but you need to try and take care of yourself. You need to learn how to, uh, yeah, to manage your own life. Um, so that's, that's nice. Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think it's going to be great for you. So Sophia is congratulating Cody. He has no parents or he does, but they wouldn't call him and, and tell him that he's great for having a new job because he doesn't speak to them. It would be great if Nancy just would leave because now time is not going as fast, which is annoying. Um, oh, also, last time, if you didn't watch the last episode, you should, I think so. Um, but we had two new, or actually four new friends moving in uh, across the uh, the square downstairs. So in the one of the apartments on the other side of the square and uh, Cody met some girls. And he actually really liked one of them. At least it seemed like he liked uh, 
the red-haired girl called Susanna best. That's what it seemed like, and that's also what you voted for, so I'm gonna have him actually invite that girl over, because I believe that he has to go to work um, in the weekend, but Malcolm has to go to work now. Or at least, what, at 5 p.m.? Yeah. So let's have Malcolm actually sleep a little bit. Um, and then Cody can actually... He also needs to sleep a little bit. But then he can um, maybe take out Susanna, actually. Take her out on the town while Malcolm is at work. And Jeffrey wants us to come over. But as you said, Jeffrey... Or dad, you know, dad, you said that it was good for me with a job. So of course I can't come over. I need to go to work. So that won't work. That won't do. Cody's not feeling too amazing right now, but I guess he could have fun. Whoa. So this guy came over. He's one of the uh, guys living with uh, Susanna. So it's Brian. He's like, yo, anyone up for getting their exercise on? Because I'm here to, what, go to work. I'm here to pump. Great. So Malcolm has to go to work. And then I feel like Cody should, uh, should travel with Susanna. Maybe just to the spice market or something where they can uh, grab some food from a, a food stall and just hang out a little bit. I think that's great. And now the game is just being a little bit tired because Malcolm went to work and uh, I tried traveling at the same time. Oh, he has a great little hat on. That's nice. So let's just travel to uh, the, the spice market. Maybe go sing karaoke with, uh, with Susanna. That would be awesome. These guys haven't been alone together before. So that's interesting also. Like they need to... Uh, Need to get to know each other just a little bit better, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see if uh, if sparks are gonna fly between them, or they're just gonna stay friends, or maybe they don't even really like each other. We'll have to see. Like, we'll we'll let it be up to the Sims to decide if they want to be together or not. I think that's always a great strategy. So uh, it's happy hour at the karaoke bar. That's great. See, look at her. She's so cute. Um, so let's just brighten her day and uh, get to know her a little bit. And then maybe they can go. He's like, hey, you want to go sing karaoke with me? Like, I think that could be cool. Let's, uh, let's just have some fun, you know? That's awesome. They are still just uh, uh, acquaintances, I think. Like, he doesn't really know anything about her. But she is uh, a cheerful sim, which is great. So let's maybe sing a duet with her. That would be cool. Don't go play basketball. Let's go sing uh, karaoke together. I rarely use the option to play sing karaoke, actually, in this game. So it's gonna be fun. Yeah, let's put up the walls and let's just have a look inside here while they play. Oh, and Salim Ben Ali is gonna come in and... Uh... Oh, no, he left. Not that it sounds great, though. Oh, this is great. I'm just capturing some screenshots. That's why it's uh, pausing a little bit in the middle. I hope I'm gonna get some good ones. Oh, this noise. It's just... Sounds amazing. Sounds great, you guys. Let's just back up a little bit because it's... It's terrible. Oh, there's a mirror. I was like, what's... What's going on here? Like, I can see them double. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! That sounds so great, you guys. 
I'm gonna back up a little bit because that's just crazy. Oh, and she's hungry and actually Cody is a little hungry too, so maybe let's have them uh, go over here. Let's have Cody order food. Can't you order food for the group? That's a little bit annoying actually. You can't do that at bars, can't you? Oh, I took a lot of screenshots. That's great. So, uh, is he gonna come over here? Yeah, there he was. And then let's sit together. So maybe next time they go out, they'll go to a restaurant where they both can eat, because I'm not sure that Susanna will actually... Oh, just grab your food, dude. Yeah. I'm not sure that Susanna will have anything to eat, actually, but we'll see. She'll make it. And then maybe they should go home, because it is just an ordinary school night, so... Ooh, it's karaoke contest night at the karaoke bar. Sim can, sims can test their silky singing skills by selecting sing in karaoke contest on any of the karaoke machines in the building. The winner will be announced at 11 p.m. so make sure to sing before then. Yeah, but Cody has no singing skill or maybe he just got a very little bit. Yeah, so he's not gonna win that contest, that's for sure. Oh, she got some food, that's great. So maybe have a chat, now that you're here together. <laughs> Flatter her a little bit. Wow, that's uh, very forward of you, Cody. But he did just uh, get a higher charisma skill. Yeah, he's actually level 3 in charisma, which is pretty good. So he can charm the ladies, even though he is... Um, he's a loner, so he's a little uncomfortable with the stranger danger from sitting so close to her. But he'll be fine. To give her a compliment. I think they like each other. Okay, but uh, this episode is uh, is getting a little long, so I'm gonna leave it here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, that you enjoy the LP in general. I'll keep make it as long making it as long as you keep watching it. So, thanks for watching and. Uh, Bye.